Hey boys and girls, this is Miss Cheryl with your touch counting practice from one to 10. So you're gonna need a few of your materials from your Horizons box um, to do this video. The first thing you're going to need is a pot of bears. It does not matter what color, I chose purple because I love purple, it's my favorite color, but go pick one of the um, pots, honey pots, I guess they are, of bears. You will also need the tweezers that are in that same math box, so you can go ahead and get those. And then you're also going to need um, the cards, the flashcards that we made last week. So if you've not made those flashcards, you need to stop this video, go back to the other video, um, and make the flashcards. So you're going to end up with cards, um, counting from 1 to 10, and then amounts adding up to 1 to 10. So again, we made those in a video last week. If you haven't made those, go make those. Then come back here, get your honey pot of bears, get your pinchers, and then we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so if you are back, that means you went and you got a honey pot of bears. I have mine lined up here ready to be counted. I also grabbed my pinchers and I also grabbed my cards that we made last week. So if you're back, that means you either grabbed your cards that you made last week or um, you went back to the other video and made your cards so that you could use them for this activity. So for this week, what we're going to do, there's going to be two different ways that we can practice counting um, with the bears. The first way is using the cards that have the amounts on them. And they're all shuffled up. They're not in a particular order and that's okay. So we can just put the card, pick our first card, and then what we're gonna do is touch then count. So you can use your pinchers. You can put bears on the amounts. So one, two, three, ah, four. So notice that I touched, then counted, touched, then counted. I didn't jump ahead. Some students will go, they'll count to the next one and they haven't touched the next one yet. So always touch, then count. So then once you have four, you can put them back and you can start with your next card. And we're just going to do a couple cards on each one so you can get the idea. Here's my next card. I had hearts on this particular card. So then we're going to touch then count. One, two, three, four, eh, five. I might have to use my fingers. Six, seven, eight, nine. So there's nine bears on that card touch then count. So the other way of practicing this, so you can practice with the cards that have different um, amounts on them, or you can just practice with the numbers by counting up. So you might have a, this particular card, this is a two, and you might just want to be able to go one, two. That's okay too. Let me try another one just to give you a, a different idea with a different number. Here's this one. And again, practice one, two, three, four. Touch, then count. That's the most important part. Touch, then count. Don't jump ahead. Don't lag behind. Touch, then count the number. So two ways, one's with the amounts, one's with the numbers. You can use any color bears. Um, and you can play the video as much as you like. Um, and again, if you haven't made these cards, um, the flash cards, these ones, make sure you go back and make those before um, proceeding with this video. Um, that's all for now. I'll talk to you later. This is Miss Cheryl. I'll see you next time.